Interesting exchange from Polyev and Trudeau in Canada's question period here. It is amazing that Trudeau and the Liberals have not figured out a better way to message about the housing crisis. I mean, that's not fixing it, but at least figure out a better message. It took my idea last year to remove GST off rental housing construction. It's the only thing he's done right, because of course after nine years he's doubled housing costs. So yesterday I came up with another common sense idea. Let me quote his housing advisor, Mike Moffat. The Conservative leaders plan to eliminate the GST for newly constructed homes selling for under a million dollars is the boldest middle class housing proposal released to date from any federal political party. Will he accept my common sense idea? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Over the decades, Canadians learned the hard way. With Conservative promises, you always have to check the fine print. And the fine print on this one is that... Look, the, the, the word I'm going to say, projection, gets probably overused in politics. What's the fine print? The thing he just said is incredibly simple. Remove GST on homes of under $1 million. The fine print is in what Trudeau's about to say here. There's no fine print on what Paul Yev just said. Somebody like... That you can understand his policy in three seconds. There's no way, by the way, if he got into office and did not do that, there's no way to debate it. It's like a very black and white policy. They're going to cut the investments we're making across the country, working with municipalities to, sh to, to cut red tape, uh, to invest in more housing, to invest in more affordable homes, to accelerate permitting and to create densification. He's going to cut the services and programs and investments that Canadians are counting on to solve this housing pri crisis. Uh, that's all he offers, Mr. Speaker, cuts to the programs and supports that Canadians need, whether it's a housing accelerator or housing and infrastructure investments. Uh, uh, he's going to build slow at home. That's the stuff that needs the fine print. Investments, accelerator funds, those are things that might work and they might not work. But it's impossible to say. And if you go on track record, they're not working. Whatever the liberals are doing on housing is just objectively, objectively terrible and just a complete catastrophe. Millions of Canadians across the country, and now it's even moving to other provinces. It was BC, then it was Ontario, then it was Alberta, then it was Maritimes. Now it's like every province spiking in the cost of housing. Whatever they're doing, the fine print needs to be checked on that side. These funds, these investments, cutting of this red tape, that needs to be studied way harder, and it's way more complicated than just saying, we're limiting GST on homes of under $1 million. So... I just can't believe that. He's, he's arguing against his own point. The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. He named the two bureaucracies I'll get rid of. One is ironically named the Housing Infrastructure <laughs> Fund. Five billion dollars. How many houses is it built? Zero. Zero. How many pieces of infrastructure? Zero. Zero. Can you even apply for money for it? No. no. It's just for bureaucrats. Then there's the Housing Accelerator Fund, which his own Liberal Housing Minister says the fund doesn't go towards the cost of building houses. Mm. It doesn't actually lead to the construction of specific homes. The, the Housing Accelerator Fund doesn't actually directly build homes. So why not take the money, ax the tax, and build the homes? Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. I mean, it's like, this debate already is like 10-0 Paul Yev. I'm, again, I'm trying to be fair here, but... Opposition is intending to cut the Housing Accelerator Fund, which is all about creating densification across our communities, uh, accelerating uh, the permitting and cutting red tape, uh, using more. It's all about, but what has it been doing? Not none of these things are working. I can't believe they haven't figured out a better way to even just like BS about this stuff. At least sell it better. Obviously, the results are way more important. It would be incredibly hard to even like BS your way through. Okay, this didn't work, but now we're going to fix it. At least the Trudeau government, their messaging on immigration right now, they have accepted some responsibility. It's probably the first time I've seen them do that in a while. They have admitted they, had, they did not get the balance right, and they're adjusting things. This housing stuff, the Housing Accelerator Fund, is all about this. It's not working. None of these investments, whatever's happening, it's just completely 
it's making homes more expensive or flat with higher interest rates. So bad on both counts. Public lands creating uh, more uh, opportunities for public land to be used uh, for the creation of affordable homes. It's about changing the way homes get built so they get built faster and more accessibly for Canadians. He's about cutting the programs and the services that Canadians rely on. That's what Canadians have learned about Conservative provinces, promises. Got to look at the fine print, and the fine print is cuts to things Canadians need. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I, Christia Freeland in the question period. I actually find it funny. She treats it like a, what's that show? Family Feud. Good answer. It's like Steve Harvey is the host. And she's always giving these like encouraging remarks. They're actually kind of funny. But um, again, the fine print, the true, the plan that needs fine print to be checked is the more complicated one. That's again, not working. Where you say, this fund does this on public lands. We do all this stuff. Paul Ev's plan, cutting GST under a million. Incredibly simple. You don't need to look at any fine print. He'll either do that or he won't do it. Again, if he wins. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Cuts to taxes Canadians pay, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Speaker. We will axe the tax, the sales tax on new homes under a million dollars, saving up to $50,000 on a new home or $2,700 in lower mortgage payments every single year. By contrast, in the last three years, the number of young people who have ownership of a home today has fallen by half under this Prime Minister and his incompetent Housing Minister. So why won't he cut the bureaucracy, axe the tax, and build the home? Yay! That's wild. It's cut by half. I didn't even know. I, I knew it was a lot. I didn't know it was that much. The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadians have learned when Conservatives make promises, you've got to check the fine print. And the fine print on this one... How many times are you going to say that? Just as a young Canadian who sees expensive homes, come on. Three times, and then you're talking about just cutting programs? Address what he said. The, the Canada question period is good because it's just a, it's like a, a, a discussion that happens, a debate sort of that happens often, it's good for Canadians to see this, but they don't really talk to each other that much. Polyev, so far, is doing a great job, but there's a lot of just deflection in this question period. Is cutting programs that are investing in building new homes right across the country, working with municipalities and delivering the homes that Canadians, particularly young Canadians, need. Now, if the Leader of the Opposition actually cared about young Canadians, he wouldn't be standing against uh, the fact that we're asking uh, wealthier Canadians to pay a little more in taxes to help young Canadians with buying a home, with creating a future, with creating the jobs that they need. We're going to continue to invest in young people for intergenerational fairness. While he he gives tax breaks to wealthiest. Yeah, well, they're talking about housing right now. Don't be, like talk about other programs. Ugh. The honorable member for Belle Chambly. Okay, so that's the end there. Um, again, interesting exchange. I just think Polyev won that like thirty to zero. Just the fine print. I don't even know what the point of what he's saying is. Just such a generic talking point that he recalled, I believe, three times there. The fine print, the fine print. What Polyev said there is incredibly simple. I've made that point. One other thing I want to say, just really quickly to end this video. This woman here, she's kind of getting cut off actually in my screen. Like the, with like, anyway, this like the, with the glass here. I don't know if you can see the cursor. <laughs> she Also like Freela, when I'm watching these debates, she's like, Gotta check She's the like fine Trudeau's print. biggest the fine supporter. This one. I don't know if I can't be the only Canadian to notice this. Is cutting I don't want to be like, look at this. Investing it's in just building always, new homes. I always get distracted. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you watch question period and you see it's just like anything Trudeau says. The only person in the back there just bobbleheading it up. Supporting <laughs> supporting Trudeau. It's kind of funny. Anyway, um, with that said, I'll finish the video here. But Canada, we need a better economy and more affordable homes. That's our biggest priority in the country by far. Let me know if you don't agree. With that said, I'll end the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.